definitely one of my favorites. I would highly recommend. Alrighty then. Dapper Fragrances, high quality clones. High quality clones is pretty much my favorite way to go. I feel like they're a little bit more natural, a little bit more easy on your skin. They copy some really, really expensive blends. I got my top five here. Pretty much a lot of the ones in my new batch have replaced my top five. I only have two fragrances from my original top five on this list. So let's start off with number five. Number five is Amouage Beach Hut Man. This is the only fragrance that I left at work, so I was making sure I did not show you the logo. I mean, there's two different kind of styles. It is definitely this circular one. The Beach Hut Man is a very interesting fragrance. I actually ordered a sample because Mr. Sillage, a fragrance YouTuber who passed away, he had it in one of his summer lists. Just sounds good. Let's try it out. Now I actually really, really like Beach Hut man it does something different for the summertime and it's generally pretty likable which is kind of hard to do i really really like it in this one i feel like the original beach hut man has a little bit of something extra in there but to be honest this comes very very close to it and i was just really really enjoying wearing this i think i wore this for two or three days it's just a really solid fragrance really good for the summertime and it's definitely one that i would consider bottling so number five beach hut man so number four i can't i can't say no to background rouge 540 this isn't the smoothest blend of Baccarat Rouge 540 that I've smelled. It's a little bit more thicker and it's a little bit more on the strawberry. It still is very good. When I was spraying it up, I kept getting little whiffs and I forget what I was wearing. I'm like, man, that smells good. It does smell a little bit feminine, but I really, really enjoy Baccarat Rouge 540. and definitely had to put it at number four. I probably would prefer Babylon Fragrances Sacred to this one, but I just can't say no to Baccarat. It always smells good on me. Number three, Abercrombie & Fitch's 2002 X Straight. This one's the one that I really, really do enjoy. I have the classic Fierce here, and then I also have Dua's Vintage Fierce. To be honest, Dua's Vintage Fierce is kind of like the gold standard for the classic Fierce. For me, it's the most impressive. If I was gonna recommend one for somebody liking the old Fierces, I still have to go with that one, but this one does a little bit of something special. It's a little bit more thick versus the original Fierce. All the parts are there. I smell a little bit of lemon, a little bit of musk. Just a very, very high quality blending. Really nothing I could say bad about it. For the price, it's very, very good. Probably one of the better alternatives because Dua's is like $50, $60 for one ounce. So that's pretty pricey. Abercrombie Fitch 2002 Extreme X Straight. Number two, one that I was really surprised that I liked, but I could almost wear at any time. And that is Parfums de Marly Percival. Now I did spray this back to back with the original Percival and the original Percival kind of has a more hidden orange note and the Percival kind of hides that lemon and orange. It's a tad more alcohol -y. And I smell a little bit more of that prominent lemon in there or prominent orange, whatever they use, whatever citrus is used to create this. I smell a little bit of it more prominently. I just really, really, really enjoyed this one. This is one that I could spray almost all the time. It just smells good. I think I wore this for two days. I'm definitely one of my most impressive ones. I had to put it in front of Fierce because of my Dua's version of Fierce. I do appreciate a little bit more, so I put it one back. But these two are kind of neck and neck. I feel like they're very similar. And Percival has been compared to the vintage Fierce as it is, but Percival doesn't have anything like musk. Definitely one of my favorites. I would highly recommend Percival. Number one, I think this one is the one that sells out the most, but if I was gonna recommend one, this one does cover the most bases and it kind of smells, in my opinion. Mm -hmm pretty much the closest out of all these to the original smell and that is Parfums de Marly Leighton. I just really like this blend and I really like this fragrance. Leighton is one of those ones where it's a designery style smell with just a little bit of a niche, a niche touch that you haven't smelled other places. It's just really nice. It's really pleasant. This one's a little bit more for the colder time. I just really, really enjoy his Leighton. I would have to put it number one, but to be honest, everything that he's given me, all these samples have just been really, really good. I know when I posted these videos, I'm surprised how many people have tried his fragrances. This whole time I was kind of sleeping on them. I'm, I'm glad I'm I'm glad I'm discovering them now. But anyways, guys, let me know what your favorite dapper fragrances are. Let me know what fragrance review I should do next. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>